What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're inside my house. I got a bunch of stuff from Drift Motion uh, for my AR5 swap. We'd be outside, but it's nasty, it's rainy. Sorry if my house looks absolutely disgusting right now because coronavirus, my kids have been home all the time. And yeah, you know how that goes. So I'm not 100% sure what all these parts are for, but I know I need them. So we're gonna go through them and see what's all there. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the floor for this. Uh, before I open this one, I did actually today meet up with a buddy of mine in the IS300 community, uh, Cole, if you're watching this, thanks bro. Um, I got this JZX 110 shifter housing. Uh, this will replace the factory AR5 housing. Also got the gasket with it. Um, I do need to order the little top side bushings that go in here. I'm not sure well you can see that, but there's some bushings that go in there to uh, make sure everything seals properly to the top of the transmission. Uh, but he did give me this bottom gasket with it, which is really nice. Uh, I have to pull this little breather cap out of my uh, W55 shifter. And from what I understand, I can use my W55 actual shifter rod. This is known as the shifter housing. Um, but yeah, so, after I'm done opening all this stuff, I'm gonna go downstairs and actually pull my W55 shifter out of the housing on that trans. And hopefully it works with this. If not, I'm gonna to have to buy an R154 uh, shifter, well, JZX110 shifter, so I can use this. Either way, it's okay, I got a good deal on it, so thanks, bro. This is from Drift Motion. ordered this stuff about, I don't know, a week ago? I they say you're not supposed to cut towards yourself, but I'm sitting down. So whatever, I guess. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Hopefully also you can hear me. Hopefully I'm not being too quiet. But you're gonna have to deal with me. I should just, I should title this video, how to AR5 swap for dummies. Cause I'm probably gonna get a million questions from you guys. But I'm okay with that. Whoa. What is this? Dude, Kaden, what is this stuff? It's cardboard, but it's like cut all weird. Interesting. Never seen that before. All right, we're getting there. Holy crap, it's everywhere. Yeet. Yeet. can't eat this. Can't eat these. Let's do this. Let's get all the stuff out of here. Are we missing anything or is this all more of this crap? Okay. It's all more of that crap. Bam! All right. Box number one. I feel like this is probably my flywheel or pressure plate. <laughs> Terrible at opening boxes. Why does this not just want to open the door? Whatever. No stickers. Hey, hey, bam, flywheel. So this is from Drift Motion. It's technically for a 1JZ, but it will work on a 2JZ. Also does have a nice uh, Drift Motion logo here at the bottom. Uh, this disc is actually replaceable, so I don't have to buy new flywheels all the time. I recommend you do the same. That way, if you burn up your clutch, you can just buy a new face for your flywheel 
and uh, replace it when you put in a new clutch disc. Next. This is an OEM pressure plate for an RM54. Pretty nice. It says a ASIN right on it. Um, you guys probably know what a pressure plate is if you're watching this, but this is uh, what pushes on and releases your clutch disc from spinning when you disengage or engage the clutch. Um, I was told this should work pretty well for my application since I'm not making a thousand horsepower. So we'll see how she does when we put her in. I'm willing to bet that this is my clutch disc, which is for a Pontiac Solstice. The reason you have to get a Solstice disc, well one, the AR5 I'm using is out of a Pontiac Solstice, 2006, um, which I believe is the first year the Solstice was produced. And it's a action clutch, spec 1.1, so it's a six puck sprung. You can kind of see these bumps here, the springs are behind that. Um, and the reason you have to use this is because the splines inside here match the AR5 transmission. You can see that when you put it up to the flywheel, that it fits perfectly. Um, so when you put all three of these pieces together, this will go right on the transmission on the uh, input shaft and this clutch will work. So that's awesome. This one says multiple items inside, genuine Lexus parts. So we have, I think these might be Flywheel bolts? How many are they supposed to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, those are my flywheel bolts. So brand new ARP flywheel bolts. And also this is, I believe, the line from the slave to the master cylinder for the clutch. I'll open it up so you can kind of see it a little better without the plastic bagging. I believe this, this is the front housing. I guess you could call it a housing. Um, and this is for, um, when you take the bell housing off the transmission, this goes in there and I believe your input shaft comes through this, this shaft right here. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be a seal in here or if you just like RTV this stuff or write stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to look, up, look that up. I'm new to AR5 and new to RM54, so if you guys know exactly if there's supposed to be seals in here or if I can just use RTV, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I needed this too. This one also says multiple items inside, so there's the rest of it. Oh, you got some seals. These might be for that housing, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's like some snap rings and things of that nature in here. Uh, looks like a, a rubber seal here. So I'm sure these probably all go with that other piece that I said. So yeah, I'll figure that out when I get to it. Uh, it's a learning experience for me because I've never messed with one of these transmissions. This is the shift, or what do you want to call it? The, uh, the fork for the throwout bearing. this doesn't have a part number on it but it's some kind of uh, bracket for something I'll have to figure out what this is also definitely the throw out bearing here I think this is probably this little box is probably the pilot bearing slash yep pilot bushing weird. I thought there was supposed to be a bearing on that. I might have to buy one. I'm not sure. I think these are the pressure plate bolts, I'd imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yep, these are probably the pressure plate bolts. A RM54 slash AR5 uh, slave cylinder. So I have to hook up 
that line I showed you from here up to the master cylinder for the clutch. And it looks like that's all we have. So, I think I'm gonna go downstairs, take out that shifter, I'll bring it up here and then show you guys if it fits or not. So we're back. Went down to the car, removed my shifter rod, and we're gonna see if it's gonna work with this JZX-110 shifter housing. Um, you probably can't see it, but there's a spot where this bushing at the bottom of the rod slides in, and uh, basically you gotta line it up, try to slide this in there, and then see if it's gonna work. So, kind of straighten this guy out. Boom, magic. She's in there. So this is a W55 shifter rod. This is a JZX 110 housing. As you can see, I didn't tighten all these because I still have to put this back in my car to be able to drive it to the shop. But it does work. Everything seems to fit up pretty decently. Uh, we'll have to see what it's like once I put this on the AR5 and get it in the car. Um, but as you can see, as I move the shift rod, this piece moves, and this is what actually attaches to the transmission. There's a little ball on top of the trans, and when you move the shifter, that moves the selector. So as you can see, it works. So that's awesome. I shouldn't have to buy a JZX-110 shifter. So with that in mind, if you guys are gonna do the swap and you have a W55, instead of buying a shifter, you can use your W55 one and just buy the JZX110 housing. Um, you'll need this if you're doing R154 style AR5 swap or W58 swap. You'll still need the same housing. So there you go. There's a little bit of info for you. I suppose with that in mind, that kind of concludes this video. Uh, I showed you what I've got so far. I have a R154 JZ bell housing on its way. Uh, it was shipped out today. And I still got to buy a transmission, still got to buy a drive shaft, a trans, uh, drive shaft adapter. I'm going to make my own transmission mount. Uh, if you can weld, you can probably do the same for yourself. Otherwise, I think there's companies that make them, but I decided I'm going to save a few bucks and make it myself. Um, what else? Yeah, I got to go through these parts, decipher what everything is 100%. I got to talk to some of my Jay-Z buddies and ask questions because I'm not sure. And yeah, once I figure that out, I'll probably update you guys when I get more parts in and uh, especially when we start putting everything together. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.